It's a blustery night outside, but this one just warm, cozy, and intense. James Savalski, Ray Ferraro, ready to drop the puck on this EA Sports Hockey League showdown. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. Well, the hype for this one has been off the hook. Puck is dropped. Let's see if this one actually lives up to it. And a great save. There's the whistle. Penalty shot the call. Tripped up on the play while he's in the clear. The penalty shot is the right call. And the moment of truth has arrived. Big opportunity here. Big save and breathe a sigh of relief. The shooter's looking for a hole. There is none there. The goalie was all over it. The mid-ice crisis will go to work here in the offensive zone. Sends the pass over. Sends it down low. Score! That goes off a skated into the net. As a lot of people crammed in front of the net and ricochets somewhere and behind the goalie. Oh, it just trickles over the goal line. The goaltender stopped most of it, just not all of it. St. John's gets the perfect road start here with an early goal. The coach was talking about them being aggressive. They've played this perfectly. They've got the early goal. They've had good shifts. Now you stay aggressive. And tries to make a diagonal pass. Scores! We're all tied up! And now their bench has a little more relief as they've evened up the score. This is the default move for the goaltender here. It's like every shot he drops into the butterfly. He gets beaten clean here. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. We are all tied up in this one. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Moves it to bars. Pumped off the puck. Assels gains the zone. Edmonton's regained possession of the puck. On the doorstep. And that shot dies in traffic. Denny's lugging the puck. Slides the puck across to Janssen. Tries to get it to Sackick. Takes it at center. Moves it quickly over to Dotier. Bars looks around. Pokes it away in his own end. Here's a chance. Gautier's got it to the side. St. John's has it near the wall. Quick feed to Denny. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. Off the left wing and into center. And there's the whistle. Let's get the call from the official here. And he's going off for interference, the call, Ray. Looks like a pretty easy call to make as he completely cuts off the lane for the player to skate through. Well, as both teams dig in for the face-off here just moments away, it's our first opportunity to look at the power play unit here. Easiest thing in the world, James. Tell somebody else to relax. The power play hasn't scored yet. They're not relaxed, and it's not easy to do, but that's the key to success. Moves the puck into the attacking area. To his teammate, and that's picked off and manages to clear the zone. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. That's a textbook save by Ben. Quick pass to Dick. Picks it off, they go back on the attack. With the blast, denies him with the save. Hammers him into the boards. Puck carrier thought he could squeeze by. All of a sudden, the door closed. Scores! And he puts his team in front. James, this game looked really comfortable as a tie game. Now they're ahead. They've got to continue to push. What a great effort on the shorthanded goal here. As the game is tied, you're trying to prevent them from scoring. You get a break, you take advantage. Well done. Edmonton's got a one-goal lead here in the first. What's the message on the bench, Ray? The message is to be aggressive, to get another one, to try and stretch a lead that you've just built. 
The power play looking anything but as they give up a shorthanded goal with both teams back now at even strength. Oh, they're not going to think too much about that. You, will, you want to at least generate a little momentum on your power play. Not only did they not score, they gave up a shorty, which is always deflating. Puck scooped up by Hart. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. More than half the period left to play. The Oilers have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Nice pass. Sends it over to Bars. And we've got a two-on-one. And he comes up with a big-time save on that. Here's a short pass to Assels. Answers the call with a big save. Angles it over to Sackick. He might have a step here. He's in. All alone. What a save on the play. More than half the period has expired. We've got a 2-1 game. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Edmonton's capitalized on their offensive abilities here in this first period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, he stopped that one. That was a fireball. Save made by the goalie. Oh, he's on it there. Both saves are really good ones. Tries to get the puck to Assels. Look out, a two-on-one. Big time stop there. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Takes the feed. And rocks him on the play. Gets that puck back oh. on a stick. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. It's a two-on-one. Janssen's got the puck. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Sends it across. And that caroms right off the mask. What do you think hurts more? He's got a headache or his jaw sore? That thing was a bullet. Edmonton's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. Puck is dropped. Quick shot. Stopped with ease. Scores! All over the rebound, and he puts it in. You want money? You go to the bank. You want bread? You go to the store, you want goals, you get into the net. The rebound's there, he puts it away. The Oilers have controlled this game here in the first period. More shots, more goals. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. And now he moves it to Hart. That's just a great heads-up read at center ice. Edmonton's had outstanding stick positioning. Coaches will love to show this in the video tomorrow. Lays the body. Moves it to Bars. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter. There's nowhere for the puck to go. Hart's going to play it against the half wall. Cuffs up possession of the puck. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Takes control of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Hart. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Denied by the blocker. Big save by the goaltender once again. And that'll do it for the first frame in this one. Well, no shortage of offense here after the first 20 minutes of play. We got a 3-1 score. back with more action.
Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Second period set to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Ray, we've already got 20 minutes under our belt here. What are your thoughts of this one so far? Ben's really focused and tunneled in on the puck tonight. That first period was about as good as a goalie can play. Interference is the call here, Ray. If he moves his feet just a little bit more, he's in better position. Well, this gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. Key for any team on the power play is to get control of the puck first. So we'll look at the faceoff, and this power play at the very least has to generate a little momentum. It's their first crack at it tonight. Sackett's eyes are looking for three. He's got two in his back pocket. Dangerous player now. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. St. John's will try to break out here shorthanded. Into the offensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Slides it across. Centered out in front. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Hammers a shot. Great defensive effort to step in and block it. Looks to set up along the point. Eagle eyes by the referees. Delayed penalty coming up here. Looks like they caught the slash. Pretty nasty whack and slashing the call. If you're gonna slash somebody, don't slash him in the pants where it makes all kinds of noise. He gets called up for that almost every time. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Sometimes you have to have the shortest of memories when you play on a specialty unit like the power play. It hasn't gone very well for them so far tonight. They have to attack this power play with a renewed vigor. Moves across the point, big hit, turns it away. Here's a clearing attempt from their own end. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Oh, reads it perfectly. Here's a chance. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Great poke check on the reach. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Comes up with the stop. From the blue line, they take control of it. The Oilers get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. Well, they'll have to regroup after that. The power play doesn't cash in. Opportunity lost for them. And he's signaling penalty shot here on the play. Tripped up on the breakaway. The ref makes the right call in signaling for a penalty shot. Sackick's ready for the penalty shot. You he scores! Tonight, they absolutely have dominated here, especially with the goal scoring. They've been faster, they've played with more skill, and they are filling the net. What a fun night to play in. Here's a chance to set up now. There's the whistle icing the call. The Oilers have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Mui's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Gauthier. Here's an opportunity to clear the zone. And a burst of speed, they're gonna wave off. He scores! That's how you do it! Leadership to a T! The captain capitalizes! Goalie's trying to read here. He gets out at the top of his crease, makes the move to the butterfly, still gets beat up over the blocker. Edmonton's been dominant tonight as they make their way back to center. They have scored almost at will, in particular here in this second period. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Bars works the puck in his own zone. Bank pass off the boards. And now it's grabbed by Hart. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Along the half wall with the puck. Oh, and he can fake his stick for that one. 
He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Gets it out of his own end. And he slides it quickly to Denny. Fires it. Oh, what a stop! 